Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we're going to take a look at this HP Pavilion 15. This is model 15 AW094NR. And it has had liquid damage. No power. Came in for no power due to liquid damage. A whole lot of uh, milk was spilled into it. First thing we want to do is take all these screws off the lower, uh, off of the base here. Get all these screws out of the base. And we've already actually done this repair, uh, but this video is for me uh, to test out some new equipment. So I'm using different microphone, I'm using different editing software, uh, a video capture card, a microscope camera, a bunch of things that I haven't had up to now. Uh, and we're hopefully going to evolve our videos and uh, improve. So there, sh there is probably going to be some, some things about this video that aren't perfect, uh, audio being one of them. I'll have to continue to work on uh, getting that fixed up a little bit better. We'll see. There may be some popping uh, and some other things going on that I'm not real happy about. And the first part of this video, we've taken out the screws of the lower case and uh, we'll be able to separate the lower case or the base from the top cover and it comes off all by itself. Now right away we can see that the battery is swollen although it is still taking a charge and it is still running off the battery that battery does need to be replaced. We've still got little bits of dried milk falling out of it but we've already um, actually done this repair so this isn't really going to be uh, a video of me of me repairing this uh, but we will talk about what we did and I'll go through um, how to take it apart how to put it back together so the first half will be taking it apart the second half will be putting it back together do a quick test to show it powers on and in the middle we're going to show a little bit of uh, of what we did under the microscope on the motherboard so we are taking this opportunity to to work out the, the, the bugs in our audio to work out the bugs in our video and um, to see how well we can make transitions between um, we want to stick with the start to finish approach uh, whenever possible if we can but we are going to want to move into some different areas of repair that I have haven't been doing and uh, I want to be able to show some some actual work being done under the microscope so this this is really just a test run of the first um, shot under the microscope and we'll just point out what we did So it did have some uh, corrosion and uh, one of the uh, ICs on the motherboard had a corroded leg on it that was completely gone and we needed to uh, use a little jumper wire and make a micro jumper to reattach that leg. So here uh, we'll be able to see where the second pin to the right or the second leg from the left rather is the one that was completely damaged and corroded and we have reattached that uh, leg we've sort of manufactured our own leg using a small micro jumper and we've also done an ultrasonic cleaning and we've touched up any little solder joints uh, kind of in this area where the worst of the uh, corrosion was as well you can see right there is the new leg that we made with the small micro jumper got 
get that chip working again. So again, um, we're just sort of playing around right now with the microscope camera, so uh, just kind of bear with me on that one. I wanted to get some sort of video uploaded where uh, at some point I have to start doing some of these where I'm showing something under the microscope. But in the future, we'll actually be doing some repair under the microscope, and I just wanted to get some idea of, of how difficult it was going to be for me to work with. There's a few other things that I don't have as well um, that will maybe integrate as time goes on, but one thing at a time here. Really corroded, it's all nice and cleaned up now. We can go ahead and put everything back together. Now on the top right, right here, is a cable. Um, it is actually easier to connect that cable if you just take the screw out and remove the board and put it in there. But we're just gonna <laughs> flip, we're gonna flip this thing up so that we can get to it. We'll use a pair of tweezers to insert that in its uh, little socket. But be sure you reconnect that cable that's for the card reader so unless you're using the card reader it's not going to even be noticed but if you pop a card in there a little SD card or something it won't work unless that's plugged in this is the keyboard and touchpad up here and uh, we reconnected the power button and uh, the USB is over on the left side there and now we're doing the video cable and the DC import. Put our Wi-Fi card back in. Reconnect our antennas. Get our cooling fan put back in. So I have a new capture card, the new camera for the microscope, um, using a, a, a new microphone. I'm using um, new editing software and and this video is, is going to be a combination of some of these video some of these shots are done using uh, the iPhone 10s max and the microscope camera and we'll be editing everything on uh, on a desktop as opposed to everything on my phone so literally everything that I've done previously has all been done using my phone so we will probably do a little bit of combination between the two and I also have some a uh, couple other cameras that I may uh, do some experimentation with whether or not we upload anything using those cameras is another thing altogether um, but I am going to try and stick with the start to finish approach, if at all possible. But we do want to sort of venture out into uh, different areas of different types of repairs. So I don't have a whole lot of uh, computer or laptop repair uh, videos. And this is just one uh, of two that I've uploaded so far. Um, but I wanted to also do some other things uh, maybe related to software and some other uh, topics and various other types of repairs and I want to try and and expand on what we're uploading I 
These two corner screws are the only screws that are different on the base. They're a little bit thicker and shorter and all the rest are kind of thin and a little bit longer. So I know this isn't the, you know, perfect video, but I did want to show the process of taking this laptop apart and putting it back together again. So it's more of a teardown in that respect. But I did want to sort of toss in uh, a quick shot of, under the microscope. And here we're just showing that the light is on. So we are charging. We do have power. And since this uh, computer came in with no power, we were able to solve that problem for the customer. So anyway, um, this is just to show that it does power on and it will boot up eventually. This computer was running really slow. The hard drive is cluttered up with a bunch of junk software and other things. In any case, um, hopefully you guys liked the video and um, we'll be doing more and improving as we go. And hopefully we'll evolve into a little better quality. And I really appreciate you guys if you like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so customer was happy we got his computer working again and I'm happy that we got to at least do this test run on the new video setup thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye bye now